I'm Pirates team insider Jake Ignazewski, and I'm here with Pirates defensive lineman Jemias Pittman. So, Jemias, I wanted to first start off with asking you, how was your first arena game with the Pirates? Uh, it was definitely adverse at first. You know, uh, nowhere near as planned, but the work the work I had to put in was, yeah, that was thought about a long time ago. So, it was just different. And we, and we talked about, especially during training camp, you were working with Toby Johnson, getting acclimated to those new rules. So um, not only how much did that practice with Toby help in the game, but uh, did you feel a little bit more comfortable after a few weeks of practice? Oh, yeah, of course. Like, I started to play faster. You know, uh, things started to become second nature, which is what happens when you keep doing things over and over. But... I just had to get a feel for it, but the game was just different because I was playing a different position. So I still gotta, I still gotta see how it's gonna be for me on the defensive side. And so for people that don't know, as I mentioned, Jemias is a defensive lineman, but due to offensive lineman Chaz Wright's injury in the first quarter, you had to switch positions. Yeah. And so how did that really come about, uh, especially in that moment? Like, did you volunteer or did they pick on you and sort of explain how that all came about? It was like a numbers thing. Like, uh, they told me uh, a couple of days before, like, something happens on the O-line. Do you think you could, you know? And I told them, yeah, uh, I believe. Yeah, I'm a dog, so uh, I believe in winning by any means necessary. So that's just what happened. And as soon as he went down, they, they turned to me, and I jogged out there. We got the job done. And as you mentioned, you, you, you went up against uh, former, former Pirates uh, defensive lineman uh, J.D. Gregg. So how is that going up against a guy like him, as experienced as he is in the arena game? And, uh, I mean, he's a pretty big guy as well. He is. He is. He passes the eye contest for sure. Uh, but what I did is I just I put in my head what I like to do as a D lineman. And that basically helped me out a lot. Uh, everything he tried to work, I kind of knew what – but we cancel it out, and it worked out for us, man. He beat me a couple times, but we got the W, so that's all I really was worried about. Now, have you ever played offensive lineman before? I played it one one time in high school, and I got seven screws in my leg because of it. <laughs> Pro probably in the moment, you, you had a little bit of PTSD. Of, yeah. Of, oh, I don't want that to happen. Oh, of course. Several times it happened in the game where I was like, pick your feet up, pick my feet up. Yeah. <laughs> and so talk a little bit about that learning curve because I, I imagine that you didn't really have too too much time to really prepare for that position change. No, nah, I really didn't. Uh, what it was, is, see, I, I had great leadership from Ruben and Sean, uh, the other two old linemen. So they basically let, walked me to the line every time and told me what the deal was. Uh, it was a lot easier because they did that. I really don't know how I would have how I would have <laughs> got it done without that. And probably after that experience, you have a little bit more more respect for the offensive lineman for how tough their job is. Oh yeah, like once I got fatigued and I had to still stay in front of this dude, I was like, yeah, bro, it's it's a lot more than I thought it was. And then after the game, you you were named the player of the game. So what what was sort of your reaction uh, when you found that out? Uh, really. I didn't know, man. I was just playing to win, to be honest with you. Uh, I knew before the game that I was going to give it all I had, uh, and that's what came up. That's what came. That was the outcome. I didn't plan on it. And then lastly, just ultimately, when you when you saw the ball go through the uprights uh, from Josh Gable's game-winning field goal, what was the reaction? It was like, okay, <laughs> we got by this one. Right, we got to play better. Let's play better. Let's, let's make it prettier. That's what I was thinking. Perfect. This is Jemias Pittman. I'm Jake Nizuski, and really appreciate you watching.